Hello YouTube world! Hello mga friends here from the world! Greetings from Malta! So today's video, I'm going to show you the fabrication of anturium o ang paano magparami ng anturium. So if you want to learn, just keep on watching. So, ang una kong plants, ito yung binili naming anturium. Ayan. So, tinanggal na namin yung mga old leaves niya dito. I always choose small part. Kasi okay lang sa akin yung ganito kalaki. Kasi I, I put it on my window. And then, ito. Ito naman. Ito naman is yung nakat na namin dito. Sa old mo. Bali, dalawa na siya. Ayan, ito yung isa. This is another one. This is really healthy. Okay, so before we start, let me share a little bit about um, the anturium plants. So, these plants are very poisonous. All parts are poisonous. If you chew or bite any part of it, it will result in painful, burning sensation in your lip, mouth, and tongue. Because this plant has the calcium oxalate crystal that penetrates on your tongue. It's like a small tiny needles. Sometimes the acute inflammatory result is blistering and swelling. You will have um, abdominal problem if you accidentally eat and better consult your doctor. So if you are planning to buy this kinds of plants, so you have to be careful. Um, out of reach of, be careful out of reach of children and if you have animals, cats and dogs, so it is also dangerous for them if they try to bite it. Also the sap, it will irritate their eyes and the same thing that you will feel like a human, that um, it will penetrate on their tongue, so very dangerous. But this is not the only one that uh, is poisonous. Despite of being poisonous, I love this plant. A beautiful house plant, of course, long base life, six weeks or more, depending on the season and on their, on their kind of species. They have also different colors, but I love red. Yes. Okay, let's start it. I'm going to use a square pot, and I just put half of the soil and so I'll get things together with a little bit of stones and that is okay. There are two ways of propagation. One is you can see this tiny tiny little bulb here. Yan. Yan. You can plant those but to me it it will take long time to grow on it. But the second way is Ito, ito yung nakikita nyo, you see those stems? We just need to separate it and put the other one in the separate pot and um, just give it some time to recover and you will have another anturium.
might still like that they are disturbed, but as long as you don't damage the roots, just give them some time to recover and it will grow well. Okay. I'm just adding soil on it. And there you have it guys. Now I have four, so we just need to water the new one. Anturium likes moist soil. So I decided to put my mother <laughs> Anturium here. And, and all done! You will just need um, another week to recover the plants and it will grow slowly. Another tip for taking care of the anturium, since it looks like a plastic, so all you will notice all dust is coming in, the leaves here, so what I'm doing is I'm going to just get damp cloth and wipe it. So they like to be white, it will look more fresh. So if you want for the fastest propagation, I guess you can just um, choose big and uh, deeper pot so it will be easy to, the roots will grow more and it will have more space uh, to grow, okay? But then I'm happy with it, small ones. I like it. Okay, thank you so much for um, watching today and um, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment, po, and thank you so much sa mga bagong subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Grazie. And I hope you learned something new today. See you on my next video. Bye. Good vibes to everyone. Thank you. Bye.